Hyundai sends a message to an astronaut with their cars. BMW is adding to their X game, and I don't mean extreme sports, Max. Okay. No pop shove, it's here. Plus, the 2016 Cadillac ELR is here, and it's cheaper. And a Range Rover pickup? Come on, now. Also, we have your FLD question of la dia. Oh, yeah. Por la yeah. dia. Por la dia. <laughs> Escuche y repita. Por la dia. Por la dia. Question of the day. That's what's happening today right here on Fast Lane Daily. I'm Derek D. Let's have a go at it, shall we? Yeah. yeah. What do you say? All right, we get it. Here's an awesome story you may have heard of, but can a car deliver a message to space, AK? Maybe. Okay. Well, sure, if it has the proper technology inside, right? Or maybe a satellite dish. What about just tires that dig into dirt pretty well? Well, I don't think so. No? All right, well, I'm going to tell you a story. Stephanie, a 13-year-old astronaut's daughter from Houston, Texas, who really misses her dad since he's always taking trips to space. He's a real space cadet. He wanted to send, she wanted to send a message that he'd never forget. So she teamed up with Hyundai, and they had the idea to use a dried lake bed as, a, as, it's, it's as large as a city, and some very spiky tires bolted to 11 Genesis sedans to help write a note that would be visible from space. Nice. Yeah, all the way up there. The message, the message was, Steph hearts you. Steph loves you. Yeah, right to her dad. And it was written in Nevada's, 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 however you say it. It was written in Nevada's Delmar, Delamar Dry Lake. They even also got a uh, Guinness World Record for the largest tire track image, as if someone else tried that, right? <laughs> yeah. It is pretty cool, though. They actually matched the message to exactly Stephanie's handwriting, which I thought was a cooler aspect of it all. Although I can't help but think, what an extent to go to, right? When you could... You could just simply email your dad in space and be like, hey, dad, I love you. Because he, he, he just said, like, thanks, appreciate it, love you too. Like, it wasn't like, I can't believe you did this, is amazing. I mean, I'm sure he knew about it. I mean, look at the setup at this Hyundai, the, the setup Hyundai had for this, it's pretty insane, but pretty cool. Link is in the description if you want to watch that whole thing. All right. Oh, uh, BMW, I gotta tell you something. Just give it up already, will ya? Jeez. For sure. Oh, come on, Omar, right? Their X lineup just seems to never end. Am I right? <laughs> Max or Omar, anyway. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're always I mean, right. all right, let's go through it. We have the, uh, the X1, the X3, the X4, the X5, the X6, and then the X7 already officially confirmed and on the way. I am always right, Omar. <laughs> well, BMW has also promised now that it is working on the X2 to complete the whole set and a new X3 for the next couple of years. When asked if they plan on doing anything smaller than the X1, BMW said those rumors are not true. So yeah, no X.5s and obviously no X0. Uh, that would just be ridiculous, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. If they made that one, you could call it uh, the uh, kiss hug. Hmm. XO. You know <laughs> BMW must date a lot because they have a whole lot of Xs. <laughs> Am I right? I heard that. Hear that? You heard it? I heard it. Yeah, yeah, I heard it. I heard yeah. what you said when you said it. Censored. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that. What was that, Max? Explicit. Yeah. That. What the hell is that? It's the all new and exciting Range Rover pickup. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's not really a pickup by Range Rover, but tuning company StarTech thought it would be a good idea to turn the large and luxurious Range Rover into a high end pickup riding on huge 20 inch ramps and packed with carbon fiber all around. Now, wait a second. Can you even call that a pickup, though? What can you fit back there, a small goat? I mean, I wouldn't even recommend throwing some hammers back there. It's just too small. <laughs> yeah. Just go be yourself, Range Rover. No need to pick up and start over. Pun intended. <laughs> anyway, StarTech will offer them with all engine choices, and it'll debut at the 2015 Shanghai Motor Show, and probably cost a ridiculous amount of money to turn your Range Rover into a pickup truck that could hardly pick up a lot of things. I mean, there's not that much space back there. Yeah. It's like, come on. I just said a small goat, because I would imagine. Yeah, picking up a latte, am I right? Yeah, put a couple lattes in the back. Yeah, come latte on. run. Yeah, Ugh. that's what you get in Range Rover. That's what you're gonna pick up. 
Cadillac announced the new 2016 ELR, you know, the electrified luxury coupe. Well, it'll have a range of upgrades, including a boost in acceleration, performance, and connectivity. Some of these major updates are a 25% boost in power and torque, zero to 60 miles per hour, has been slashed, slashed, oh yeah, 1.5 seconds, and now is 6.4 seconds. It'll have a higher top speed, retuned chassis, and steering for better handling, which is funny to me because before it was just like, not, not that good steering, now it's better. It's a volt. Yeah, basically just a volt. It'll have more responsive brakes and a new performance equipment package. The ELR has a full driving range of 330 miles. Also, Cadillac dropped the cost by $9,000 to 58495 net pricing after U.S. federal tax credits. Wow, dropped 9 k huh? So those of you who, bought, who already bought an ELR, you're pissed. Your wife is like, why are you so mad? And you're like, because the ELR we bought is now nine grand cheaper. Should stand for exceptionally livid reason that I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> About the car. Right. Lost nine grand. Right. All right, it's time for your FLD question of the day. This one comes from big FLD fan, Red One Sues. Yeah, says his friends call him Red One. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't Red One like a producer or something? Maybe. I feel like I heard him, it's all like, Red One. Pretty sure it is. Yo, Red on the beat. That's right. Anyway, take it away, Red. FLD crew, my cue of the D is what is your favorite production sleeper car? Um, mine would have uh, to right, be right. the... Stop it right there. So you're sitting in your car, which is cool, nice. Uh, to me, it looks like that's a pickup truck, judging from that rear window there. So I'm going to go ahead, and your question was, what is your favorite production sleeper car? All right, let's, uh, let's round table this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll answer that right now. What would my supercar be? I think I'd have to go with, uh, go old school, and you've definitely heard this before, but I'm going with a 1990 or late 80s Buick Regal Grand National. I mean, come on. Those things didn't really look like beasts, but they sure were, especially that GNX version. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't know, uh, Buick and McLaren actually worked together to develop that car. So you know it was legit. Buick and McLaren? Did not know that. Yeah, for the GNX. You know, maybe not the regular Grand National, but the GNX. Beast mode, uh, it was legit. What about you guys? AK, you got any idea? <laughs> <laughs> Remember I said I was gonna round table it? <laughs> I got something there. Super, uh, sleeper, sleeper, sleeper Subaru? Uh, maybe the Pontiac Fiero, 85 or 86. Nice. Max. You can go with the CLA, my man. You know, the CLA is yeah. sleeper car? <laughs> yeah. It's the sleeper. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it's quick. It just. It is quick, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Omar. I'm going to go with the uh, Taurus Show. S8. Recent one or like an older one? I guess any. You could even go with an older one. Recent one. Recent one. Because the older one looks terrible, but it's, yeah. it's pretty quick. Me and Conan would race together. <laughs> What'd Tom say? Tom, Tom had to leave, but he said. Uh, oh, he said some Chevy car SS. that nobody's ever heard of. No, he said a Chevy SS, a new one, which, you know. It does look like a sleeper. It doesn't look like, hey, but that thing's got some uh, beast mode to it. Oh, yeah. So there you go. There's some ideas. Uh, what is yours, Red One? Mine would have to be the uh, 1991 GMC Cyclone because you were able to whoop a Ferrari's ass and throw some hammers ah, back there. Ah, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta love the throw some hammers back there. Right, Max? Throw some hammers back there. I hear that. And I knew it, you are in a pickup truck. A 1991 GMC Cyclone? That's Cyclone with an S, because that's cooler. That truck though, 1991, 280 horsepower, zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds. That's fast for a little pickup. 4.3 seconds, zero to 60 time is quick now. Yeah. 91 in a little like S10 body uh, GMC pickup? Come on now. And he's right, back in the day, car and driver did a test where the Cyclone did beat a Ferrari 348 TS in the quarter mile. Wow. So, uh, yeah, nice. Thanks, Red One. Let me, uh, let me get one more of that and throw some hammers back there. Throw some hammers back there. Nice. Nice. Gotta love that. Yeah. He planned ahead. You know, he had the hammer in his hand the whole time, asked the question, said, and boom, threw it right, right back between the little window. Right behind it. Appreciate that. Let us know what you guys think of this question. Uh, you could also make your own video and send it to us to... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Yeah, and if you want to respond to this, use the hashtag FLDQ of the D. And there we go. And that is going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. 
I'm One Take Wonder. I mean, Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Woo! Nice. Nice. You and Omar. Great hey, job. Wow. Got through that. That was really tense. <laughs> no, nice good. job, Omar. <laughs> Omar, that's sweating. Hard. That's hard, dude. Dripping it's sweat. It's, prompting is not easy. Do you know that's the one thing I will never do? Yeah, it's, it's really hard. I won't do it. I won't do it. It's, it's a lot of pressure. I got a lot of respect for Erica, though. You didn't before? Mm. No, I did. I this is a heart. Oh, lost the wheel. <laughs> You're writing it all in one area? <laughs> What'd you write? I love FLD. I would have been in the fast lane.